my name's Tim Fagan. We're going to be doing some training today on the stroke controller, uh, calibration, uh, connection hookups, and uh, adjustments on the controller. Uh, first of all, when you get the controller, it's, it's already has an enclosure on it, right here over this area. Uh, all you need to do is remove the six or unscrew the six screws on the enclosure and it comes off. First thing you do is your connections, which is your voltage connection, which uh, will typically come through on into this area that this connector right here it will come through and then your power or your voltage comes into these two terminal blocks, which is TB1. And you see your hot and your neutral connections here. When you're hooking up your connections, keep in mind that you need to have two different circuits going, one going to the motor of the pump and one going to the controller. If you have one circuit going in, then you won't be able to manual, manually override the controller. So just keep that in mind. Maybe a switch, if you're gonna use the same current, have a switch for on and off, but uh, just keep that in mind. Secondly is your current connections, which is on terminal, terminal block TB2. Uh, uh, connectors three and four or for the analog but there is a optional voltage connection on five and six we're going to be using analog today because uh, that's a majority of what the customers use over in this area here this is where your settings are to calibrate the, the actual pump you have your zero button red span is for it's for the high point or 100 percent of the pump flow and these other buttons don't or are not really used only when you want to reset the controller to default settings which you just press these three the the red the black and the yellow simultaneously and then it'll revert back to the default settings <clears throat> um, over on this side, you'll see dip switches. Dip switches are already preset from the factory for 4 milliamp being zero point or zero stroke on the pump or 20 milliamps, which is the maximum or um, the max flow on the pump. So what we're going to do here, we're going to show you it being turned on we have our, again our voltage in and we have our simulator that will simulate the 4 to 20 milliamp signal going into the pump we'll turn on our voltage actually what we'll do is we'll come to this side you see these little LED lights when I turn power on you see the red I'm sorry the green basically tells you that there's voltage going into the controller. The red LED is a fault light, which typically means there's no analog or input signal coming into the controller. Now, when I get the simulator out and simulate a signal, that red light should go off. Red lights went off, so and we have a four milliamp signal. Now, four milliamp from the factory is zero stroke on the pump. And if you bring over here, come over here, you'll see that we have our our uh, scale here from zero to a hundred. And you see that little white spot that indicates zero stroke or the four milliamps that we're simulating into the controller. Now, I will adjust the simulator to 20 milliamps and you see that the stroke has gone up to a hundred percent so again zero I mean 20 milliamps being 100 and four milliamps being zero stroke 
Now, what we'll do is you can adjust these points. So what we're going to do is change the four milliamp zero point on, on, the, on the pump to another stroke setting. While four milliamps is on and into the controller, we'll come over here. You see the red button where it tells you it's zero. To press hold. And as you turn this encoder knob, or just a knob I call it, uh, you want to go whichever way you want to go. You want to go the opposite way on the on the knob. So if I want to move the stroke forward, we want to turn the encoder knob clockwise. And we come over here. As I turn, we're adjusting. And now we're approximately 30, 40 percent on the stroke still at four milliamps and we can do the same thing when it goes to 20 milliamps we're changing to 20 now we're still at a hundred percent stroke but now if we want to adjust that stroke we press the black button or the span and it goes it goes the opposite way so if you want to bring the stroke down you want to turn the encoder knob counterclockwise if you want to come over here you'll see as I adjust see I'm moving that stroke and now we're approximately at 90 80 percent flow or on the scale and we'll change from 20 to 4 milliamps and we still have that current setting that we that we just changed And we come back on 20 milliamps and we're at that same setting which we adjusted. Now the um, the other optional to, to this pump is the voltage. Now we set it as a default at 115 volt. If you look down here you'll see that little orange that's a little like wax piece that's in there. It's holding it at 115 volts. If you want to have 220, you take out that, that piece and adjust the switch over to 220. And once you're once you're you're done there, um, you're you're good to go. Now again, this controller can be adjusted manually and like I said before I'm using one circuit so I can't adjust this manually but if I turn off the power I can adjust manually so just keep that in mind when you're doing that there are there are optional uh, outputs to this controller on 9 and 10 on TB3 this can be, um, the, the output signal can be put to a SCADA system or, or a panel of some sort telling you what, what your, uh, what analog signals come into the pump. And that concludes our, um, our calibration and setup on the stroke controller. Thank you.